After today's training, you'll be able to describe the influence that temperature has on concrete. You'll also be able to demonstrate the proper method of determining the temperature of plastic concrete. The perfect temperature for concrete during curing is 55 degrees. However, this temperature is desirable, but it's not always practical. Therefore, as quality concrete producers, we can safely tolerate a range of concrete temperatures from 50 to 80 degrees without extra precautions and still maintain the quality that we demand. Concrete mixed at 70 degrees and placed in a 50 degree atmosphere will cool down and the setting will slow down. Concrete mixed at 50 degrees and placed in a 70 degree atmosphere will warm up and the setting will speed up. Neither will set as fast or be ready to finish as soon as concrete mixed at 70 degrees and placed in 70 degrees. At what point does a load of concrete get rejected for excessive temperature? The Oregon State Highway Department will accept concrete within a range of 50 to 90 degrees. After 90 degrees, it is rejected. As you can see, the control of concrete temperature is important in producing quality concrete. Let's take a closer look at the effects of high concrete temperatures. For most applications, it's impractical to limit the maximum temperature of concrete as placed because circumstances vary widely. A limit that would serve successfully on one job site might be very restrictive on another. For example, flat work done in a closed area could be completed at a temperature that would cause serious problems if it were placed outdoors on the same day. The effects of high concrete temperatures should be anticipated and the concrete placed at a temperature limit that would allow the best results in hot weather conditions. The temperature of the concrete when placed should not exceed 80 degrees unless a retarding admixture is used. There are several reasons why we need to be careful during hot weather. The strength of the concrete is reduced and there tends to be more plastic shrinkage cracking. Next, the durability of concrete is reduced. Temperature of concrete cannot be controlled as easily in hot weather as it can in cold weather. However, here are several recommendations that can be used in lowering the concrete's temperature. Use cold water when batching. Avoid using hot cement. Cool the aggregates by spraying water on the stockpiles. Cool the mixer drum with water while mixing. Avoid excessive mixing after 70 drum revolutions. Avoid using leftover loads by adding more fresh mix to the load to create a full load. Make the dispatcher aware on the job site if there has been any major slump change so that mix adjustments can be made. Now.